What is up y'all, good morning. This is the RV park we're staying at right now. And this morning, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. You guys know we've done it in the past. It was so much freaking fun. We looked on the internet. We found some yard sales this morning. It's Saturday morning. We're gonna go to these yard sales, see if they have any fishing steals. The coolest thing about yard sales is that you literally never know what you're going to find. And we're hopefully gonna be coming across maybe like some cool rods, some old reels or something, some cool lures. Last time we did this, I'll link them all down in the description below. We found some pretty freaking cool stuff. And it's like kind of like going to the flea market or going to the thrift store. Like you just, as I said, never know what the heck you can find. Whatever we do run into at these yard sales, we have some cash for once. We're gonna be picking it up. Then we're gonna be going out to the water, trying to catch some fish with this stuff. So it's gonna be a cool little fishing challenge. I think the holy grail for today, as like all the other times as well, like we did this one time before at a flea market, we found this. It's like, if you find a tackle box, it could be loaded with a ton of stuff, especially vintage stuff. If you guys haven't seen, we found one at a flea market. It had this like old guy stuff. It had his fishing license from like the 80s. All these vintage lures, I'll link that down in the description below. But yeah, we're gonna go head out and uh, see what the heck we can see, dude. It's a beautiful freaking morning, look at this. Bright blue skies, literally no clouds in the sky. We got the mountains in the back. I'm excited, let's get out here. Let's get this video started here today. First yard sale. Oh, across the street right here. All right, infiltrating first yard sale of the day. Looks nice, we got a big old tree. What do you think, Kelsey? You need a wheelchair. A wheel, oh, that is a nice chair. Okay, since like when did uh, yard sales start on Friday? Am I the weird one here? I thought that like yard sales, it was like a Saturday morning type thing. What is that? Look at it. What is that? Like a big dome. Uh, 15 minutes away from the first one though. That one was, as you guys saw, it was a little bit dusty. We were just quick in and out. We're going to another one. This one is just a Saturday one, I think. And it says fishing poles, so. I don't know, I think fishing poles might be like a highly sought after item. But yeah, I think fishing poles are like a uh, thing that people, you know, wake up early and just fishing gear in general to go to yard sales and stuff. We're finding that out. But I have hope in the second one. And if there's not anything at this one, there's other ones that said they have fishing stuff. So we're gonna keep skirt, 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 zigging and zagging until we find the jackpot. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. What is that guy doing? Everybody else went. We just had a whole family reunion crossing right there. They're trying to find the yard sales too. Sheesh, everybody's out this morning. All right, pulled up to the next spot. This is actually a garage sale. So I think this is the first ever garage sale we're going to on this channel. But like right outside of the garage, this guy's already looking at us. Somebody pulled up. They have a bunch of fishing rods. And the this cool thing about this one is that this is only a Saturday one. So maybe there's still good stuff. There probably is some good stuff. So we're gonna go over there. Hopefully the prices aren't too high. And we're gonna find something to fish with. Get out to the water, fish some garage yard sale stuff, man. I think we might be able to find some really cool stuff. Maybe some hidden treasure. Let's get over there, see what they got, man. Ooh, all right, I'm feeling lucky. These people kind of look like me. They just have so much fishing stuff. Hello. What do we got here? What the heck is that? Eagle Claw Fire Starter. Some vintage stuff right here. 25 bucks. Yeesh. Zebco. They got some cool stuff. Look at this OG Daiwa. It's got like the little butt. Daiwa Graphite Jupiter 1431. These are so interesting to me, man. They got that little, little butt. Jeez, 70 bucks. Kunan competitor. Yo. This is freaking sick, dude. This is like some vintagey, vintage garage sale stuff. This is 20 bucks, it says. For this thing, this guy's snow blowing over there or whatever the heck. Wright McGill. I can't even read that. Granger and Steely. Eight foot five, eight point five foot. 
It's an old eagle claw, dude. This is so cool. This is like the definition of vintagey vintage. All the guides in the check. Dang, dude, I might. Well, this thing's sick, dude. Put that back for now. This is just the cool thing about like yard sales and stuff. Like, this is Silstar, which I think we found this before. I think this is an overseas company that kind of ran out of business. Extreme Glass. Just a bunch of random stuff, man. Super old, vintagey stuff you just can't get, you know, at tackle shops. And this is what people used to fish with. So it's, it's so cool. I mean, especially think about like, you know, the experiences that these rods and reels have been through. Like, what has caught what? Whoa, look at this. Holy crap, dude. What the heck is that? If any of you know what this is, please let me know in the comment section below. Now again, we got that small butt rod. This is a true temper. Oh man. $25. I guess this is a true temper reel too? I don't, that just looks so cool. Just take this for 20 minutes. This one here? Yep. Okay. I don't see temper sand off. Don't worry about it. Just keep the. Oh, you sure? Yep. Thank you so much. Such nice people. So nice. Like literally, it's so freaking nice. <sighs> Dude. That's, oh my God, I'm so excited, man. That's so cool. All right, so what is up, y'all? We are out here today in the state of Delaware. We took the rod that we got here from the yard sale, this beautiful specimen, brought it all the way across the freaking country. We drove, um, I forget what it was, it was like five days. I put this reel on it, this is a loose custom reel. It's a 30 pound braid, which is why I use this, but I mean, just look at, like, oh, hello? Get this man it's metal it's like wood and uh it's actually about the thunderstorm i think maybe so this is gonna be kind of interesting we're gonna bring this over to the place they're fishing here today i just i don't even know exactly where we are we're just gonna kind of park here this should be interesting because while we're here in delaware for the time being i want to explore a lot of spots that we used to fish but also some new spots and this is a spot that we've only been to one time ever before i think one of you guys told me about it but uh there should be fish here I don't know if I'm allowed to fish it. Let's try not to get spark light on fire or something. We're gonna walk over there. I got some top waters. It's a prefrontal condition, so these fish should be biting. Hopefully, if there are fish in here, they'll bite some top water. It looks like there was like a little bit of muck and goo on the top, so might be good. It might, it might, it might be good, man. Let me stop talking. Let's get over there. Let's try to catch some fish, dude. All right. Ooh. So, thing is too, like, it's been rolling thunder the last like two days. And I was actually watching a compilation of like things getting struck by lightning, which is cool. But like when you got a rod like this, it, it you know, I don't want to be part of those memes, man. I, I swear I was on a freaking hole in TikTok last couple of days. We're gonna walk over here. Let's see what we're working with. You know, the other funny thing too is that this is pretty like lighter action rod. It's a little bit wobbly. So is it gonna be able to even, the heck, this thing's kind of loose. I don't know if this, it's, it's I, I don't know, dude. Is it literally a stick that we're fit? Like, is it gonna snap? By the way, too, man, if you guys could, real quick, just go down there, hit that thumbs up button for me. It would mean a lot. And uh, let me know, uh, if we get 3,000 thumbs up, we'll do some more yard sale stuff, and we'll do, you know, some more challenges like this. I mean, I have a lot of fun doing this kind of stuff. We only went to a few in this video, because uh, we kind of got a later start, and we went to some not very good ones at the beginning, but if you guys want us to do more, I am completely down, man. It's literally like a freaking treasure hunt. Oh boy. Last time I was here too, it was in like the more winterish months. Like, look at all this, man. We're in freaking Jurassic Park. Got heck of foliage. Looks like we got some like corn type looking stuff. And being in Delaware too, it's just so like, I don't know. Like it's weird. Oh, look at that. Looks like a melon or something. Oh, hello? Oh, it's a bird just feels like oh see here we go see those right there red those are the og delaware corn dogs delicious if you haven't tried them okay what are we oh i see two turtles so first of all before we even do anything there's one thing we gotta do oh there's another turtle there's stuff in here i remember somebody said that there's 
fish. Last time we came here, I don't even know if we caught one. I feel like we got a bite maybe, but it was so freaking long ago, dude. So first things first, here we go, $20. Again, I think I reverse haggled myself in this video. They're like, all right, $20, but 10% uh, off. And I was like, yeah, here's $20. <laughs> I need some work on that, man. Like, why, why am I that guy? I'm like, ah, you, just keep it. Like, they were so nice. They're, they're business people, right? I mean, they're probably just nice people, but work to their advantage. All right, so we have this frog that kind of looks like just a frog that would be out here. We're gonna be tossing this around. It looks like it might be starting to drizzle a little bit so let's get this started here first cast lucky old rod like if we were in pokemon man this would be the one that literally just catches magic carp we'll start out over here near all this crap oh i hear frogs too you know there's probably a heck of frogs in here let's see this drag i mean that looks good to me dude the really nice thing about this like set up too. I was gonna fish some other stuff, but I mean, we might fish some other stuff. This doesn't work. I would just love some topwater action. I feel like, when was the last time we caught a freaking topwater fish, man? But I do remember, I was using a Ned rig here when we were in the winter. I had like a Ned rig kit and there are so many snags. Again, I mean, the thing about fishing like newer places, even though this is in Delaware, but I don't know if this is like a topwater pond or what exactly. I don't even know if there's bass in here. Maybe there were, but maybe there's not. I don't freaking know, dude. Come on, man, this would be so sick. Top water, old time frog. And kind of what I was saying too about like getting cool treasures like this. Oh my gosh, that was a freaking fish. That had to be a fish, right? I don't know if you guys heard that. But the cool thing about getting rods, like, like, like you don't know what this thing has been to. You know, how many fish it's caught, what it's seen. Oh gosh. Okay, yep. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, well that 100 million percent was Skeeter City. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. That is dark. We're gonna have to get a move on here. It's lots of turtles. Whew, all right, this is it, man. Rolling in, clouds rolling in. We're going all in on the plopper. Let's see if we can make it happen. Bro, I just got wet. Mother Nature is on one today. I don't know what the heck it's freaking doing up there still, but I came to another spot. One of you guys actually told me about, I never actually fished here before either, but think past this park, there's some water. So we're gonna go over there. I don't know, uh, I drove kind of farish away. I don't know if we're gonna get electrocuted or a little bit more soggy, but we're gonna get over here. Hopefully we get freaking, no, not hopefully, man. We're going to, I feel it I'm tingling. All right, it all makes sense now, man. The fishing gods had to give us, you know, just a little blessing, a little sogginess. We're gonna have the luck now. So we have some, look at this, over there, so kind of behind the tree. Got some blue skies. We're just that random dude <laughs> talking to themselves in a kid's playground. Oh, ooh. I see water. I don't know if there's fish in this pond. It looked like there was a couple different ponds back here. Oh, there's a waterfall. Dude, look at, I, I'm telling you guys, I was driving on the highway and I just was like, ah, <laughs> it's freaking just coming. I could barely see in front of me, but this is a situation now. Yeah, no, I, I don't think this is normally here. Maybe it is. That'd actually be pretty cool to catch a fish out of this. This is literally like a little puddle. Yeah. Okay. Let's just scout this out real quick. This is, this is cool, man. I like exploring like this. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing much. Okay. We're going to do it. Actually, let's go behind. I mean, there's a trail. This does, I, I'm not even gonna lie, this does, <laughs> looks, oh, jeez. Now everybody knows I'm here. Ow, spider web. This looks kind of sus. What is that? 
I don't think this is usually like that. Maybe there's any fish in there. So I actually have this little swim bait tied on. It's actually a pretty big swim bait. I might have chose the wrong path or there just might not be a path. That's a snag. This is a struggles, man. Summertime fishing in certain areas. I mean, I think this might be part of that like giant storm that passed through Florida and then kind of came through here sort of ish. Oh, yeah, wow. Very wet, much water. Holy, let's try this way. Ugh. All right, what the frick? <laughs> ah! What am I doing? Hey, quick update. I'm in a random neighborhood. Doesn't found a pot. <laughs> so what we did, look at this. Made a little game switch, switch roo. Hey, oh, by the way too, if you guys have any like good recommendations, for waiters, please let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Cause I, I, yeah, I have holes and I feel like every two months I get holes. A lot of that happens I feel like in the salt water and especially in like Montauk and stuff. But yeah, I got holes, dude. Help me out. It's a little bit mucky. We got the bubbles coming out. Looking good, looking clean. Let's try out in the middle. Oh, here comes the rain. I just saw a giant, was that a snakehead? Snakehead bowfin, a freaking, just some kind of big snake or something. I don't know what else that would have freaking been, dude. Freaking python or something. Oh my God, freaking frog. Yo, I'm like on edge right, I'm on one, dude. All right, it's starting to get actually pretty freaking dark. I don't know if that is like storm stuff or just getting dark. I think it might just be getting late. Oh my freaking gosh, dude. We just got soaked. I literally, my waders got dunked. I was not paying attention. We went through this river thing to try to get to the other body of water. Not a good idea, but it is, it, we're not giving up, man. We're gonna catch a freaking fish on this thing. I think we have a little bit more daylight. The street lights are, where, where's the, see they're starting to come on, but I have a dream. So hopefully we can hit up one more spot, at least on the way back. I just want to catch a freaking fish, man. We've gone to spots where we don't really know if we're going to catch them, but I, we still don't know if we're going to catch them. I, I'm going to try my best, dude. Don't give up. We got this. All right, what are we looking like? Wow, that is clear. Oh my gosh, that water is so clear. Very shallow. I just want to say, man, if you guys have not already, please be sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Some of these videos take a long time to make and you never really know what you're going to get out of a first day fishing video. You know, sometimes we catch 50 fish, let's say. Sometimes you catch a bluegill with an eye patch. Sometimes, you know, you catch like a freaking ginormous alligator guard. Like you really never know. Dude, that freaking, yo, that, that thing looks like a straight out of Avatar. Like one of those flying things, the uh, dragonfly. But yeah, we're going to walk over here. I do just want to say too, man, if you guys are ever struggling, I mean, summertime can be tough to catch fish, but always remember, just being out here, that's what it's all about, man. Fishing is, you know, it's nice just being out. To catch the fish is a bonus. It's nice sometimes, man. I, could, I wouldn't mind catching a fish right now, but... Oh my gosh, there's really a bass. See these fish? I've seen a few bass near the surface, and he's scared. Like, even the turtles, they'll see you from like 20 yards away and then they'll be like, ah! It's freaking, like I've never seen turtles swim that fast either. By the way too, I know it's probably kind of weird because like I, I expected this sort of, like I was like, probably might not, won't probably catch fish, but this is like a nostalgic pond. Like it's just nice to come back here. And it would have been nice. I mean, I think I do want to come back here eventually. I don't know if I'll do it on camera or not, but I want to catch a fish out of here. Just, I don't know, look, look how gunky this is. Dude, that was a big fish. Can I step on this? Oops. Oh, there's a smallmouth right there. Oh, it's chasing a freaking... You won't eat this. Hey, it feels like bread. It's bread, dude. That's skipping bread. 
Do I have a freaking fish, dude? Do I have a freaking fish? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a second. Come here. Oh, dude, that's a, what is that? It's a bass. Come here. Oh, freaking, dude. We did it. The world record for time it takes to catch a bass. <laughs> this is actually really cool, though, because this is a smallie. And this is in Delaware. Like, I don't really catch. Oh, ow, freak you, dude. Ow. He's dark. I don't really catch smallies in Delaware that much. They're only up here really in the northern regions. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh yeah. What do you think of that? Did you just, is that the new record? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've heard? <laughs> That's my buddy Zach. He came down, he was over here. He's got something weird on his, uh, he's got some interesting little bug or something, but dude, if I could get a thumbs up for that, man, that would, it would mean a lot. These, it, it looks like a Delaware one. It's got like the little dirty bottom like they do around here. Dang, man. That took a long time. I think there should be more right up on that little uh, edge of the rapids. So we'll throw this net around a little bit more, but just let him go, dude. This is going to be a pretty release to clear water. Oh, sick. He's going right back. I'm telling you guys, when I came down, what the heck was that? When I came down over here, this is all completely changed. That guy like spiked the out of me. But I saw a big shadow swim off. I don't know if it was a holdover trout, if it was a big bass, freaking one of those bluegill I fed McDonald's years ago. Oh, I got a fish. I got a rock. <laughs> oh no, not a rock. Oh my God. Do I have a fish? I got a fish. Dude, he took me into a rock. Wait, what is that? That's a good, oh. Dude, he took me into a freaking rock. I was like, yoinking him. Dang, dude. That looks like almost the same exact size. No, that was definitely larger. You think? Yeah. This smallie's larger? Yeah. Like, I don't want to get shanked again. Right in the top of the mouth. Last one, that was weird, is in the bottom. Ow, he's biting my finger. All right. Beautiful, man. Honestly, if I had the choice too, I'd probably go for smallies over largies. No offense to largies, but that is freaking gorgeous. Let him go again. I'm gonna let him go over here. It, it's so crazy because it just drops off right there. Let's see the clear waterness. Thank you. Ow. Oh, yep, up. Oh. Professional release. Well, all right. That is pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. I know we've been doing a lot of stuff, man. I just appreciate all the support. It really does mean the world. We have a lot of cool stuff coming on the way. Just stay tuned, man. And we have some, like, I'm going to be going to some really good spots here. And we're going to be switching out. There's some saltwater creek stuff, a bunch of different things. Just stay tuned, man. A lot of stuff to come. Again, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You want to know just where...